Listen to what the Prophet said. Here is just an example of how a person knows who they are. He says, Man taraka nadrata lillahi awwadahullahu halawatan min al-imani yajidha fi qalbi. Whoever, for example, abandons looking at something which is forbidden, Allah will expiate that or will compensate that with a sweetness of the feeling of Iman which they find it inside of their heart. The point of that hadith which I wanted to allude to is not the fact that a person uh, stopped looking at haram. This is only one thing. What I'm trying to say is when a person stops any act which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hates, it means that that person is only wanting the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in how they use their eyes, for example, or how they use their body, how they use their time. And as a result, the genuine, the genuine, the, the sign of you being genuine in that, meaning that Allah is your objective by abstaining from this, by controlling yourself, the sign of this genuine love for Allah, making Him your priority, is that you will find a feeling of sweetness inside of your heart. This sweetness, wallahi, if you give this person everything in the world, if you give them everything that any human desire would want, it will not make a difference in their sweetness that they feel inside their hearts. Are you like me? When was the last time you felt the sweetness of Iman? Was it last night? Is it now? Or was it a year ago? Ten years ago? When you were a child? When was the last time I felt this deep sweetness of Iman? Where in the night I felt like waking up when everybody else was asleep and I just felt this drive to make me stand alone in the dark with a tiny candle or a tiny light. I don't want anyone to see me. I don't care if anyone sees me or knows what I am doing. I just have this sweetness, this love to get up and pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to speak to him because I love him. I feel the sweetness that doesn't leave my heart. It makes me give up my sleep because the sweetness of what I am doing is more beloved to me than my sleep. When was the last time you or I felt this particular sweetness? Then not only that, as I was praying in the night, I don't know why, but I felt that my heart began to pound in such a way I've never felt before. It's not the pounding of a person with a heart attack. It's not the pounding of a person who has been exercising for so long. It's not the pounding of a person with a sickness, but the pounding of something called a sweetness that has affected my eyes to water and now I'm crying. And I don't know why. The only thing I can say is there is a sweetness inside me that makes my tears flow out of consciousness and love and communication with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When was the last time you felt like that? I'll tell you when. It was the time when you felt that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is truly your only objective in your whole entire life.